Thank you very much. Um, it's such a great honor, I can't believe it. In 1968, in January, I was 17 years old living in uh, an Ita Irish Italian paper mill town in eastern West Virginia, about halfway between Pittsburgh and Washington, it's where all my family for 250 years has lived. We had a 12 inch RCA Victor television. You remember those TVs, black and white? And I sat in our living room and watched the first documentary that I'd ever seen about what we now call African-American history. It was Bill Cosby's um, show on CBS called Black History, Lost, Stolen, or Strayed. And I didn't even know what African-American history was. And I was so moved that a year later, when I started my undergraduate education at Yale, I enrolled in a two-semester course on African-American history. And um, secretly, when I watched that documentary, I dreamed just a deep fantasy that maybe one day I could make a film like that too. In 1991, I moved to Cambridge, Massachusetts, started teaching at Harvard, and I got a call from a guy named Henry Hampton. And I went over to um, Henry Hampton's Blackside studio in South Boston, and I went, wow, you know, this is the man who did Eyes on the Prize. Maybe he needs a presenter, a guy in front of the camera. And I sort of sneaked that in the conversation. He said, uh, no, not really. Um, I don't really need to do that. So I decided to try to do this on my own. Now the Bible says, be careful what you wish for because surely it will be thine. I hooked up with two people, um, Dylan McGee and Peter Coonhart, and we've been a team for over 10 years. And we realized that no one had made a documentary about the full sweep of African American history since Bill Cosby in 1968. And so 45 years later, we decided to do it. And the result was the African-Americans, many lives, um, many rivers to cross. And it was dedicated in honor of my friend, Henry Hampton. Um, I want to thank the people who really brought me here. And that is my dream team behind me. Um, Peter and Dylan, Rachel Dredson, Sako Gladshow, Jamila Wignot, Phil Burleson, and Sabin. Streeter, and I want to thank um, my friends at PBS. Who else would put a six-hour documentary about 500 years of African-American history on television but PBS? <laughs> you know, they say black people won't watch public television. But guess what? You give them programming, black people will watch public television. We reach 35% of all black households in the United States with this series, and I'm very, very proud of that. I want to thank the people um, who wrote the checks and made it possible for us to do our series. Michael Sneed at Johnson & Johnson, Howard and Abby Milstein, Georgette Bennett and Leonard Polonsky, uh, Darren Walker at the, the Ford Foundation. Um, the, um, just the generosity and spirit behind me has touched me so much. We accept this award on behalf of the African American people who gave their lives and sacrificed so much to produce the moment when Barack Obama finally would be elected president of the United States. Thank you very much. <laughs>